Quantum timeline theory was truly the only thing that helped me during a lot of my dark night of the soul chapters of my spiritual journey. And even though I'm not in a dark night of the soul anymore, it still helps me every single day. So watch this whole entire video so that you can understand quantum timeline theory and how you can use it in your own life too. Quantum timeline theory basically relies on a concept in quantum physics, which is the idea that we live in one timeline or one universe, and there are multiple parallel timelines or parallel universes that you can potentially access that are happening alongside you. I know this sounds super, super out there, but just think of it like this. For example, Perhaps in a different parallel universe, you have a different job. Perhaps in a different parallel universe, you are a little bit older or a little bit younger. Now, I know that this type of quantum physics can really get some people spun around and it that is natural. That naturally happens to humans because our brains exist in this 3D universe, this 3D timeline. And what we're talking about here is quantum timelines. Your mind cannot really wrap itself around that idea super, super easily. So it's natural to kind of get a headache when you're thinking about quantum sciences for the first time or quantum theories. And it's natural to um, need to rest, to need a little bit of extra nutrients. The brain is a muscle. And when we're stretching it and using it to try to understand things like quantum timeline theory, it's completely okay for it to not click right away and for, for it to take a few times. So come back to this vi video if you need to. Another thing that really helped me understand this was watching the cartoon Rick and Morty because you can actually get some visuals of what timeline splitting looks like and how different versions of you can all kind of chat or hang out with each other in like this quantum universe. The concept of quantum jumping or quantum leaping, which is a really, really popular theory in manifestation, also relies on quantum timeline theory. So the more you understand quantum timeline theory, the easier it will be to manifest absolutely anything that you desire. Okay, so let's get into it. At any given moment, you can make any choice that you desire and this choice can put you into a different timeline let's say you choose to go get the mail right now and at the mailbox you happen to meet someone that you are just coincidentally meant to meet and your life changes forever or let's say you have an impulse to go check your mail right now and you choose to not follow that impulse and you actually miss out on that opportunity altogether and you continue living in a different timeline. According to quantum timeline theory, there's a version of you that is an absolute billionaire right now. There's a version of you that is in the healthiest, most divine relationship. There's a version of you that has everything that this version of you desires. There's also versions of you that have gone in the opposite direction and are maybe suffering a lot more than you are currently. At any given moment, you can choose which version of you you want to connect with. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask this version of you if it has any lessons or tools or insights that can help you in this moment. By connecting with a version of you that let's say has more money than you or has something that you desire and trying to learn from that version of you, this version of you in this timeline can actually leap quantum leap into that other timeline and you can start to live as that parallel version of you that has that healthy relationship that has all of that money or whatever it is that you desire. I use quantum timeline theory all the time whenever I am encountering a problem that I can't quite see my way around or encountering an obstacle. I remember that there's a future version of me that has already overcome this obstacle and I will meditate and ask that version of me what I need to do or what I need to learn in order to kind of close the gap between where I am and where I want to be. You do not need to be good at meditating in order to use quantum timeline timeline theory or quantum jumping to your benefit. I started to get really, really into quantum jumping once I first learned about quantum theory. And this is when I wasn't really meditating so much in the traditional sense. But what I would do is every single night after I would take my nightly shower, I would imagine myself getting out of the shower and stepping into this new timeline where I feel complete peace from everything that happened that day and complete clarity on any obstacles I'm facing or solutions that I am trying to attract. 
Pretty much all healing practices rely on the concept of quantum timeline theory. And if you don't believe in quantum timeline theory or the idea of like parallel universes and parallel parts of you, you might start to believe in it when you start to understand how emotional triggers work in the brain and in the body. When we are triggered, we are sent right back into that past timeline. You might feel like you are four years old or the age that you were when you last felt that emotion. That doesn't mean that you're currently four years old. It doesn't mean that you're actually time traveling, but this is evidence of quantum timeline theory existing within all of us. I was able to heal so much of my trauma and really release so much of my unhealthy triggers by using quantum timeline theory to go back in time and give my inner child or different versions of me exactly what they needed. I would tell them all of the affirmations that they needed to hear so that I could actually heal that trigger and no longer continue to be replaying those old timelines. Sometimes in spiritual healing, people talk about collapsing timelines. If you notice that you are stuck in negative habits or bad patterns, maybe you tend to date people that are not nice to you or something like that, quantum timeline theory and quantum jumping is one of the ways that you can collapse these timelines. You don't have to understand quantum timeline theory or quantum jumping in order to collapse the timelines. You can also go through it um, by doing inner child healing. So as you can see, all of this stuff is very quantum. It's very multidimensional. There is not a one size fits all. And even though I can share with you my step-by-step -step process, which of course I will because I am not about gatekeeping over here on this side of the internet, there's going to be more for you to learn in addition to that step-by-step -step process. It's so important to customize these theories and these practices to our own lifestyle, not just our own goals, desires, and our own past history, but also our schedule and how we like to do things. If you don't like showering, then quantum leaping in the shower is probably not going to be the best practice that helps you feel connected to you. So I know that we talked about a lot of really big and out there concepts in this video, but what I really want you to take away is you get to find the practices that feel best for you. They don't have to fit in any sort of box. They don't have to be approved by a therapist. There are so many different theories and mindsets and healing energy practices that you can try out and that you can use that could really, really work for you. And maybe they could even save you 10 years of therapy. I know that so much of quantum timeline theory is actually proven to like shave years off of your healing journey. So that's why I'm really passionate about sharing it on here. This stuff isn't talked about that much. People tend to feel like really crazy when they talk about it. And you do kind of feel like a little bit silly because I'm using such different words and we can talk about these things in such different ways. But if you've made it this far, then I know that you really, really deeply love yourself and want a change in your life. So I want you to know that I'm rooting for you and your future self is rooting for you and the past version of you is rooting for you too. You don't need to have it all figured out in order to be making progress. I would love to support you even more deeply in seeing even more progress in this journey. So if that resonates with you, go to all of my secret spaces. I don't even think I'm allowed to say link in this video. So go to my spaces where we can be further connected. Make sure that you're part of my email list and we will get this self-growth party on the roll.